Hey guys, Dave here at 365. The other day I threw up an Instagram post asking if anyone had any questions about what we've been up to here at 365. And uh, I got some really good ones. So we shot a quick like Q&A video. Haley is right here editing that right now. And I didn't like the intro that I did. So this is gonna be the new intro. Here's the Q&A. First question, Davis Paul asks, how do you get a job for 365? Okay, that's a, that's a good one. And for context, Davis is, a, so Davis, um, I went on a trip with Via Rail and Passion Passport last year. So Davis used to work with GoPro, Beautiful Destinations, Passion Passport. He's like maybe the best videographer I know. So I don't think he wants a job with us. That being said, Davis, if you want a job, we'll always make space for you. Um, but for anyone who might actually seriously want to work with us, the simple answer for that is do cool work and send it to us and say, you want to work with us. Just like send it on Instagram, send an email. We're always looking for new people to work with. So hit us up. Duncan Elliott asks, expansion to other cities? That's a, that's a good one too. And actually uh, I ran into Duncan last time I was in Montreal on the street. And strangely enough, Montreal, I, I, we've talked about this. Definitely want to expand into some other cities. Don't want to rush it, but we've got a few jobs in Montreal next month and definitely want to spend more time there. Love the city, think it has some some potential for growth, so we'll see how that goes. Bean Jammin asks, five year plan? You guys know this as well as anyone, but I'm not a great planner trying to get better. Uh, I wouldn't say that I have a concrete five year plan, but within that plan or within the kind of the things that I envisioned five years out, I mean, I never would have imagined the amount of growth and progress we've had in the past year and a half, taking on some international clients, international projects, and bigger projects than I had anticipated. So really can't, can't even guess where we'll be, but a few things that are really important to me would be continuing to grow the team and just add rad people that I like to be around and pe people who want to do good work, perhaps to expand into some, some other cities and see how that goes. And also to, to, to get back to, creating more content like at scale as well uh, for the city and about the city. So content about food in the city, about business in the city. Can't talk too much about that because that's actually a big part of, of what we're working on right now. But uh, yeah, a public facing space would be something awesome as well. Would love to have like a, a 365 coffee shop or cafe or, or co-working space at some point to just uh, get back to being part of the community a little bit more as well. Nick Gaston wants to hear your thoughts on the transition from working independently to running a company and leading a team. Mm, that's good too. Uh, still working on that, again, as you guys know. Uh, I mean, when I first got into this, it was all just about just make videos. So it's filming, it's editing, and it's finding music and then finding someone to pay for it. Now it's a lot less of that and more teaching other people how to do that and enabling other people to do that. And when it was just Gavin and I, just two people bouncing ideas back and forth, that was relatively easy. Now that it's four of us and we continue to grow, there's a lot more need for process and a lot more need for documentation and, and really um, organizing the way that we do things. So that's a, a work in progress, but uh, having fun with it. So it's a lot more organization, process, management, uh, which aren't necessarily things that come super naturally to me, but working on it every day and having fun with it. Leo wants to know your thoughts on work-life balance. I've done a better job with that lately, but to be honest, not to sound too cliche, but I love what I do for work right now. Like honestly, I'm excited to come here every morning. Uh, I hope you guys feel the same at least uh, most of the time. But I think that at this age, I'm much more willing to lean into work very heavily because first of all, yeah, I, lo I love what I do. I have fun coming here every day and this is the time to do it. I mean, my girlfriend spends six or seven months away as an athlete per year. So uh, it's not like I'm letting her down if I'm working all the time. So I think this is the time to just kind of go nuts and really just go full tilt and try to build something and try to grow and then uh, maybe implement a little more work-life balance when I'm establishing a family five, 10 years from now. But uh, I still try to find time to get some sleep, been doing better with that, trying to exercise, spend time with friends. Sometimes I don't get quite as much of that as I'd like, but uh, working on it and feeling pretty good about it right now. Cool, so I think that's good for today. Those are some good questions. I feel all right about those answers. We'll see how I feel when I actually go back and look at it 
uh, on video. But if you're still watching, thanks for checking this out and thanks for the awesome questions. I think we'll do this again. Might not be the exact same format, but if you're still watching and you have any uh, questions for me, for us, for anyone on the team, uh, please leave those in the comments and uh, we'll write them down and hopefully we can answer them next time. So thanks for watching and see you next time.